Edwards Oliveira here for DinnerHero.com. Today we're going to be talking about Razor. And no, I'm not shaving in front of you guys. And I know that that was a bad joke, so sorry about that. But uh, Razor, what is Razor? Razor is, uh, is, the correct terminology is, it's a new view engine from Microsoft. It's not that new. It was, I think it was released back in 2010. And .NET has been doing some... Uh, things around Razor from back from uh, .NET 5, and we are already in .NET 7. So there's a there's a couple of good uh, interesting things that can be done with Razor, and that's what we will be exploring today. We'll be having an introduction to Razor, and future videos will come with more in depth coverage of what you can uh, do, what else you can do with Razor. But first of all, let's log into our .NET 7 website as super user because you're gonna need that to to read to fully use what i'm about to, to talk about so first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a uh, a new page so we can start testing with our actually the correct module name is called the uh, razor host on the end so let's create just a a, a new page here at page let's call this Razor test and let's not add that to the menu, but let's make it visible to all users. So let's add page. Now we have the page here. Let's just delete the standard DNN up, uh, actually, text module here that comes. And let's go to modules, add new module, and let's scroll and see if we can find the Razor host module. So, one second. Okay, so here it is. So we have the Razor host module. Let's add that to the content pane and let's see what will happen. Okay, so we have it here. Let's now just cancel this area and we can see our module called Razor host. So how can we set it up? How can we get to know this module? Okay, let's go here to the little pencil and let's go to edit script. So you can think of Razor as a very simple way of programming on .NET. And specifically here, we're talking about .NET Nook, which has encapsulated the the ability for us to use the Razor syntax within this module called uh, host Razor host. So here at the top where it says select script, there are already a few pre-created, pre-established scripts that you can have a look and you can see you know, what it does. You can actually experiment with them. Let's just Take the first one here, simple razor script. And it does a few things. It gets the current the current day. And it will show what day is today of the week. So let's just click on active. And when I click on save script and return, what will happen is that this script here, which again it's a it's a pre-created script, it's already there when it comes with, with DNN already. When you save and run the view on the page will change and it will output that that code that was there the the resulting of that code that was there on the script see it says here today is monday yes i'm recording this on a monday now as this one you have again a few other sample scripts here uh, i want today to create a, a very simple script that you can explore some of the properties that will allow you to play with, with information from your DNN website. But before we do that, let's let's take care of something here that I have not mentioned. Let's just cancel this. J just want to mention that there's a requirement to have Razor running on your DNN site or in your any uh, .NET site in general. You have to be running your DNN site on .NET 4.2 zero at least okay so if you have a dnn5 or a dnn6 website they might be running on dotnet framework 3.5 or even 2 but again 
for Razor to run, it has to be running on at least on .NET Framework 4.0. Where can you check this? Very simple. You can go to Host, Host Settings, and then you can see here .NET Framework 4.0. Okay, so that's the minimal framework that you need to be running in order to use to run Razor, Razor syntax. Now you can change this if you're lo running locally. You can change this on your IIS. Or if you are running on your uh, hosting provider, you may want to ask them how to change that, or you may want to check their control panel on how you can change to run on the latest, or at least on, on, on .NET Framework 4.0. Okay, so let's go back there to our Razor test page. Okay, let's go back there to the script. And what we'll be doing here is we'll be creating a brand new script. This is the end of part one on the introduction to Razor Syntax on .NET Nook.